Western Cape Division of the High Court has struck off its role an urgent application by ANC MP Mervyn Dirks. He wanted his suspension to be lifted. Dirks once suspended, uh, was suspended rather, from party activities after refusing to withdraw a request to SCOPA to summon President Cyril Ramaphosa to answer allegations that state funds were used for party political activities. While well, ENCA reporter Lindsay Dentlinger is following that story. So, Lindsay, we have an outcome, uh, at least for now, in that the application is struck off the roll. Uh, do we know what the reasons are? Uh, with costs, I might add, uh, to less, um, uh, uh, the uh, judge, uh, Andrew Lecrancy, uh, very curt and quick uh, in his response about 10 minutes ago, uh, saying only that uh, a sufficient case for urgency in this matter had not uh, been made, or he wasn't satisfied that there was a strong enough case, and he didn't believe uh, that uh, ANC MP Mervyn Dirks couldn't get a suitable legal uh, redress through the courts uh, at a later stage stage and uh, did not buy the arguments by his legal counsel that uh, this afternoon's meeting of the Standing Committee of Public Accounts, where it is due to discuss this petition by Mr. Dirks, uh, that this was really the reason why this um, matter had to be attended to by the courts on an urgent matter. And I'm sure, Tulas, you would appreciate that the court takes very seriously applications brought on an urgent basis. Uh, and so a really strong case has to be made out why they need to hear this matter immediately and Judge Lechranzi not satisfied that the reasons advanced uh, today were sufficient to hear that matter on an urgent basis. All right, so in as far as the court is concerned, the matter not urgent can be dealt with and redress um, uh, can be obtained a, a bit later on and can be ventilated in the normal course of things. But I imagine, Lindsay, <coughs> that politically at least, this is not the end of the matter for uh, Mervyn Dirks ahead of that meeting by Scopa later on today. Yes, um, Tulas, it's going to be interesting to see how this now plays out. Well, firstly, uh, whether um, this meeting is going to go ahead. It was the argument uh, from Mervyn Dirks' legal team that this meeting was cast in stone and that it had to go ahead. Uh, the judge was not so convinced and saying, well, if the meeting had been postponed once before, why can't it be postponed again? So the chairperson of the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, um, Kaleko Schlengwa, uh, through the legal counsel, informing the court that it would abide by whatever the decision the court made today. Uh, so whether that meeting goes ahead now remains to be seen. Should it go ahead, Mervyn Dirks is still totally within his rights to petition that committee, albeit not as a member of that committee or as an MP. He can do so as a private individual. And part of the arguments that were advanced by his legal team today was saying that the capacity in which he makes that petition this afternoon will really impact how the matter goes forward, if at all. Because if he's not allowed to petition this committee as an MP, as the whip uh, for uh, the ANC on this committee, it impacts his right to vote. And this is an 11-member committee, so you can imagine if all the other members are in attendance, Mervyn Dirks doesn't have a vote, uh, it could uh, end up to be a stalemate. And so there really is a, a swing vote needed here for a petition to succeed or to uh, or not to, uh, as the case may be. So uh, it will be uh, quite interesting to see in the next few hours. Firstly, whether this meeting does then go ahead. Nothing from the court prohibits it from going ahead. So I think it will really be within the ambit uh, of the chairperson, whether he decides to push through with this. The Speaker of Parliament also saying they would abide by whatever decision the court made um, mm. today. Uh, and so then what role and how does Mervyn Dirks then move forward with his petition uh, in terms of the fact that he is deemed not to now be uh, a, an ANC MP in good standing before this committee because according to his chief whip, who uh, uh, cracks the whip on discipline in Parliament, uh, he's temporarily suspended uh, from party activity. All right, let's leave it there for now. That's ENCA's Lindsay Dentlinger. He, uh, she's been tracking that uh, court process there, uh, where you're seeing at the bottom of your screen there that the Western Cape Division of the High Court has struck off the role uh, that matter of Mervyn Dirks, uh, who had approached the court challenging his suspension.